What up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy. And the first thing I got to say is Atlas. What the F? Like, for real. Like, you just come out of nowhere with this collaboration type game. It's not even a collaboration anymore. It's an official Persona title at this point. And this is being posted by Perfect World Games, as you can see at the top left right here. Pretty much Chinese developed game. Reminds me of not not um, gameplay wise, nothing like that, but another Chinese developed game. Mobile games are on the rise now. Another Chinese developed game called Blazing Entry Effect. It um, Arxis, pretty much Arxis is leasing their characters out to 91 Act to use their characters. This tells me that Atlas is leasing their characters out to Perfect World Games and Black Wings Game Studio to use their characters for such a game. Now, I have looked over the trailer and everything like that. And the Phantom Thieves do appear in this game as like a cameo. I'm sure they're going to help out somewhat or at some point in the game. It could just be an extra palace or something like that before they go on and do what they need to do. Because I'm sure the missions are going to be different. And just for a mobile game, this looks great. I am in awe that a mobile game could put out this much. Because it looks like something that should be on console or any platform. For that matter, let's go, let's rewind real quick. First of all, this is called P5X or Persona 5 Phantom of the Night. This was not the original title. The original title was called Codename X. And if you remember, this was almost a year ago. It'll be a year in April that Codename X was announced and it looked very similar to a Persona title. And now it has changed because I'm guessing it didn't gain an audience it needed to gain into Persona 5 Phantom of the Night or Persona 5X. Whatever you may call it, it's still Persona title through and through. And it introduces new characters to the, um, I guess, I guess to the Persona universe, so to speak. And we get the protagonist. Dude seems cool. Almost like every protagonist goes through some type of tragic event before they gain their Persona. And then it introduces one of the friends. Normally, the best friend is a boy, but I guess they're gonna change it up and go with a girl this time. Again, this is a this is persona, but it's being dealt different. And of course, they got the mascot who is this owl with a hood on, which seems pretty cool. And it looks like he's looks like he or she is rocking some Tomfas, which is pretty dope for a character. Um and it just seems like it's just gonna be the three of them for now until we get more of what's going on. I'm sure Morgana is going to play a role in being jealous, if anything. But it has a lot of features to it anyway. It's still a Persona game. It's still a Persona game, and it still has everything that's Persona S, so to speak. Of course, you know all about the school life, chatting with classmates, meeting new classmates, answering tricky questions. It has unique urban exploration stuff we already know that we do in Persona games, playing baseball, fishing, and it says dating your something. I'm guessing is dating your favorite or dating your favorites. That could mean anything. I mean, it could be, it could mean dating the girl that's with you. It could mean dating your classmates or it could mean dating one of the Phantom Thieves, but that would tie them more into the story than it should. But I, again, this is a Persona 5 type title. So you got to kind of just roll with it to see what happens. But, oh, for, but other than that, Looks good. Looks like a decent game uh, for mobile anyway. I can't wait to see more of it. Hopefully we get more information before the release. I don't even think there's a release date for this yet. But I know the IPs, the P5 IPs, this was not one of them. I do not believe P5X was one of the IPs. I know there was a P5U, there was a P5A on there, I believe. And then there was like a P5T or something like that. It was it was something, it was some other weird letter in there, but I don't remember P5X being in there whatsoever. So, that being said, there's no telling what Atlas is cooking up. We're just going to have to wait and see. Hopefully you all, like, <laughs> follow me on this journey. If you're not following someone else, for that matter, hope to see you guys in the next video. I'm going to try to follow this. Uh, you can see this on TapTap Tap or, I think, Billy Billy. Those are the two websites that I've seen so far that have this on there. I don't know if it's getting a global release yet, but if it does, that'd be great. I'm going to wait to see if Atlas West like announces something because Atlas West will be the main one to announce something on social media for that matter. Um, without further ado, like the video, share it, comment what you think is about to happen, and I'll see you in the next one. Holla at your boy. I'm off here.